Hello and welcome to Wayne Plays Monsters Love You. This is a game created by Radical Games and no. Uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna try to fuck that up. And you can see all the programmers. No, I'm gonna try to become a neurosurgeon on this because that's one of the options. I don't want my story to start in a forest. That's right, long ago, nestled in the hearts of a forest was the monster village of Omen. That doesn't sound that good. You were born to a from a slime that holds the memory of monsters known for... words and thoughts. not awake yet, but soon your first eye will open. Your, your simple dreams will give you way to life itself. Your dream of helping the sick and wounded, uh, soothing the wounded, outsmarting everyone else, speak the truth when others lie. Um, well, I want to be a neurosurgeon, so i go with that one. Your body's turning, twisting, grown. Slime. Oh, grown slime in the middle of the great bat of green slime. It's time to be born. Let's do this. Let's see what happens when I'm born. You're awakened to a searing season when the sun shines strongly overhead. Well, I like this thought. Onwards. Your eye opens. Is open. You're a morsel, just barely born. You're floating in the swarm vat. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. Dozens of other morsels are exploring, flailing, and stealing food from each other. Try to swim. Float there for a little while. I'm gonna swim. I like swimming. Another morsel swims towards you. It opens its mouth to show a small set of sharp teeth. It bites you. Hmm, do we swim away from the toothy morsel? Or do I tell it to stop this intolerable bite? Stop it. You pause, unable to believe that another morsel is trying to eat you. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Do I resist it? Do I kill it? Kind of goes against what my guy's doing. Or do I unite the morsels to repel the attack? I'm uniting them. You speak your words are simple, but they but some of the morsels understand you. They convey on the bitter. Fighter. Eh. Bitter, really? The aggression shall not stand. Your tiny slime flotilla <laughs> frightens the bad morsel away. It retreats to a far end of the swarm bat. Control the vat and look for more in trouble. Yeah, let's roll like badasses. Floating, fluttering, squishing, squeak. Another morsel is too weak to swim properly and sinks towards the bottom of the vat. Uh, do I ignore it? Too bad that these things happen. Oh no, that's terrible. Deep sense of injustice at the small mor or smaller morsels tend to demise. If you could do something, or if only you could do something about it. That's my only option. Do something about it. Oh fuck you, game. Um. You swim to the morsel and determine to act. Get under and push. That'll cause me to drown. I think. Try to think of something. Let's think of something. You rack your newborn brain. Wait, there's a small animal bones and sticks rotten beneath the half. half hidden beneath the slime pumps. Well, let's prop up the dying morsel. <coughs> you swim to the bottom, casting about 
gather some of your sticks and the long curved rib of the deer. Why the fuck is there a deer in this thing? Keep them jammed together good and tight. Morsel own dissolving body holds enough or everything together well enough. Half of its body is above the surface of the slime. Make sure nobody messes with what you created. You swim in circles around the rescued morsel, keeping the cruel ones away and the biters. Until your new friend begins to move and solidifies. Help the morsel off the structure. As you do, you feel dizzy, the, that's at first, you will never been dizzy before, everything goes green. I'm in a giant pool of green, of course it goes green. Your friend is gone, but not dead. Another morsel points to the edge of the vat, while you were asleep, the weak one grew into a monster. Hooray for brains. That, isn't that what zombies say? You have grown into a big, too big for the swarming bat. You must move <coughs> on from the next stage of life and become a monsterling. Got any advice? I don't want to grow up. Never wanted to grow up. Well, damn, that's harsh. I didn't want kids to know that. You have grown too big for the swarm bad. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monster. Well, got any advice? You're going to get into trouble, into some trouble, which is great exercise for your bravery, bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness, and honesty. What kind of monster will I be? Indeed, to the broad cave of adventure. Adventure! Yeah. Adventures. Hmm. Now we got a wounded thing here. Only Jerry walks into the cave, rock in from foot to foot, howls and slams into the wall, and falls unmoved into the floor. Marshalling scatter away from his form. Examine him closely. Stand back and observe the movement. Somebody's gotta help do something. Yeah, let's help. You creep over, afraid, but determined to see the human metal knife stuck into the Joggery? Joggery's. Back. He leaks from He's leaking from the wound. You think he might die before help can get to him, but uh, pull the knife out. We'll run and get help. No, I want to be a surgeon, so fuck it, let's pull it out. Hey, sweet, advanced neurosurgery. You press the knife in your um, little claws and pull it out, and then rock it back and forth. God, that sounds so painful. Back and forth, pull some more. Gush, the red covers you, but Jaggery stands and breathes normal. No, I guess it's unlike humans then. <clears throat> Yay! That's a fight. That's some rocks. That's a spider. I'm afraid of spiders. Let's get rid of that. Something is scurrying along the wall and ceiling and the floor. The spider is big and round as plates. They're swarming in the cave. You can't tell if a friend or foe. Confront them. Stand between them and the other morselings. Throw blots to them as sacrifice. Hmm. I like this option. I like enough to where I might choose it, but I'm gonna be the brave fucker. When the lead spider sees what you are doing, it stops and bows to you. That is an awfully polite spider. 